Hey, Jason Roberts with REI Blueprint, and I wanted to just shoot a quick video to remind you to get back to basics. Um, my partner Rachel said this one time, and it was a period of time where we were doing a whole lot of deals, and we were doing a whole lot of lending at the same time, and our businesses were really growing. And we started to look at our business and say, well, you know, we always had this rule that if the deal didn't make 30 grand, then we didn't do it. And we did 111 deals our first year with that rule. And as we built this machine that, you know, every deal we got, we could just kind of put it in the hopper and it came out the other end as a deal. I started to say to myself, well, what if the deal was 20 grand? Why, why would we take this $20,000 deal and just throw it to the side? And so what we started doing is we started taking $20,000 deals and throwing them in the hopper and $10,000 deals and throwing them in the hopper because the thought was the machine's already built. You know, the staff is already there. Our negotiators are already there. Our team is already built. So why would we not run those deals through? And about three or four or five months into that, we started to realize that what was happening is our average profit for deal per deal had shrank from 30 grand down to around $15,000 a deal. And the reason why is because we changed our standards. We changed what we subconsciously agreed or really even consciously agreed that we were going to do. Our number was 30 grand, right? But then all of a sudden we made it okay to do $15,000 deals. So guess what? Instead of negotiating $30,000 deals, I started negotiating $15,000 deals and so did my team. And we all know that you know a $15,000 deal can turn into a $5,000 deal real quick if something goes wrong. So that's what started happening. And there was a, a transaction that we were getting ready to close on and Rachel called me and she said, hey, you know, after we had that conversation, she said, we just can't do this deal. We can't do it anymore. And I said, why? And she said, because we just need to get back to basics. We need to get back to what worked and what got us here to begin with. And that was elementary, $30,000 a deal. And this one that we're supposed to be closing on in two days, we're going to make 10 or 15,000 bucks, Jason, call it off. And I said, well, wait a second, wait a second. Everything's a deal at the right price, right? At, at what number does this need to be a deal? And our purchase price was 125. And she said, Jason, unless we can buy the house for a hundred grand, let's pass on it. I know the seller's gonna get upset. I know we're gonna bail in closing. This isn't what we like to do, but we have to make money in this business or we can't do it. So I called the seller and I said, look, I know you're gonna be mad. Um, I know you're gonna be super upset, but we cannot pay you 125 anymore. Um, it was some honest mistake stuff with the pool, whatever, but we can't pay you 125 anymore. And he was irate, we're supposed to be closing in two days, they're buying another house, he was super upset. Um, and I didn't even say anything about the 100 grand number and he came, he came back to me and he said, well, what can you pay for it? Because I can't go through this process again. I said, we can pay 100 grand. And I remember clear his day, he said some cuss words, he hung up and then he called me back five minutes later and he said, I'm sorry, I'm just super upset. And I said, I'd be upset too if I were you. And he said, can we still do the 100 grand? Long story short, Rachel and I closed on the house at 100 grand and we made over 30,000 bucks on it. But we changed our mindset and we changed the way that we were doing our business and got back to the basics that got us there to begin with. So think about what you can do to get back to your basics now. What are some of the things that we can do that are super simple? Pick up the phone, make some outbound phone calls. Everyone is home right now. There's no better time to make outbound calls to sellers than today, right? Every single seller is at home for the most part. So call them, send them a Facebook message, send them an email, do some skip tracing. Right now is the best time ever to start to cultivate the relationships that you can profit and cash in on. I'm not saying take advantage of people in their situation. What I'm saying is, is help people in their situation. There are some people right now that thought they were gonna be able to put their house on the MLS and sell it and that isn't working and they just want the cash. They just wanna be done with it. How about we get a hold of those people? How about we have some conversations and, and we can do business electronically. There's a lot of things that we can be doing right now if we just think about things a little bit differently. So think about that, think about what you can do in your business and let us know how we can help. Thanks.